Uh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, dude. What is going on YouTube? Uh, Phony P here. <laughs> uh, we're playing Poppy's Playtime Chapter 2 this time. We played the first one. I was pleasantly surprised about it. I know I'm probably a little late to the party, but uh, excited to start Chapter 2. Uh, before we start, though, don't forget to comment down below a game you'd like to see me play next. Uh, anyways, Part 2. Let's start this right away. All right, chapter two, flying a web. I don't like the little jiggly hand over here starting off right off the bat. I, 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 I don't know how I feel about that. Dude, the music's very eerie with this. Uh, I And I think at the end of the last one, what happened was uh, there was that doll we let free and something happened. I don't really know. Uh, but with Pop... Oh, I guess Poppy. I guess that's Poppy. I guess Poppy's the big honcho around here. With Poppy now free, the situation begins to change rapidly while you search any new way to escape the factory. Cool. Let's start. We're not going to skip nothing. I move? With Playtime Co.'s new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist Mommy Long Legs in the craziest ways. Mommy she Long loves Legs. watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The new Mommy Long Legs from Playtime Co. What's the time? Cursed. Wait, wait, it's actually cursed. It's like a face. You see the silhouette of the face? bro solid intro honestly i found that little commercial kind of nostalgic it actually looked like a 90s commercial oh cool we start literally right here all right cool hallway this hallway reminds me of something i don't know if i gotta change the sensitivity or if it remembered everything Huh. Oh, wait, what? Oh, here. Oh, great. Given lamb before time vibes. Little Huggy Wuggy. He's got a lot less teeth there. Honestly, we'd love to see it. Hey, oh, I thought that said, I was going to say base 69. Let's go. This way? Okay. I hope you're something we get to see. Elliot Ludwig. Which way? What is this? A little toy, a little blood splatter. Oh, dude, is going to be like swinging mechanics? I want to try and like look for more tapes. I didn't find a lot of tapes last time. I found like two. Let's see. Wait, can I? Hey, yo! Wait, that's actually kind of... <laughs> Wait, that's actually, like... Wait, that actually, like, works pretty good. Yeah, we didn't need that. Press here. Do I have to? Can I go in here? Stop, start, overload. Four, four, two. Oh, wait, was I supposed to grab that? Is that a secret? Does that say something? Does that say something? I can't read it. I don't know if that's a secret. Oh no, okay, we're good. <laughs> High five, buddy. 
<laughs> oh, I guess we could just use the flower key back. I'm a little donkey sometimes. If I would have fallen in the hole, I swear it on me, mum. Hey, it worked. Is that Poppy's? Oh, did we already missing a tape? It's got to be in here, though, right? It is. Okay, let's read this first. What is that? It's like a butterfly. How do I read it? Oh, okay. This experiment utilized a live rat. Rat was fed three portions daily for two weeks. At the end of the two weeks, the rat was killed and submerged into a poppy flower and preservative gel mixture. Into a poppy flower. Okay, I literally just read that. One week later, an electric shock was applied to the rat still in the gel in an attempt to revive it. The rat remained unresponsive. Analysis. I still believe in the potential of the poppy flower. It's sorry, <laughs> had a stroke. Its unusual properties led me to lend me to believe that proper mixture and procedure could have life-altering properties. I wonder if they use the the poppy like they test on rats and then they use whatever this is on the toys, and that made them. I could be wrong. Poppy flower has for a long time carried heavy symbolism, and I don't believe that's for no reason. Perhaps something larger than a rat would yield different results. Huh. Interesting. Anything else here? Hmm. Okay, let's put the tape in first. Let's watch this. Can I zoom? Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... <laughs> Okay, very interesting. Why is that opened? Wait, what the hell? Okay, interesting. Yeah, I wonder if like, oh wait, what? I didn't know I could pick that up. <laughs> wait, what? I don't know if that's useful. Can I pick up this? No, I can't. Um, I wonder if your boy Ludwig was just trying to, like, make toys, like, kind of alive, you know? And then it just went wrong. Hello? Anybody here? Looks like a little power conduit. Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I was just trying to get the power back on. Here. Wait, you're, you're good? Uh-huh. Wait, why is that? Why is that not? Uh, well, I'll say, I'll say. Give me that. I'm thinking with my br- Hello? Sir? 
Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't grabbing. Let me just. Um, I wanted to thank you for freeing me. I was stuck in there for so long. Can I climb you? Oh, sorry. I'd and... like to pay you back. Wait, you're good? There's a train station nearby. It needs a coat, and I have it. We're gonna get out of here. I didn't know. Get on up here. <laughs> get on up where, sister? Come where? On. How do you want like up here? No, up. Oh yes. Well, I'm still a doll. <laughs> Aha! Yes. Okay. I trust her with my life, actually. Hey, I'm up here. Oh hi! Hi. High five. I should be able to follow you through the fence. This way. Uh, okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, but why do I really like swinging mechanics? <laughs> sure how I feel about that, but... Can I pull this? You can. <laughs> I, 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 like, trust her, but I don't. Listen. I'm going to need you to trust me. Oh! oh! I do trust I do trust you just so we're do I have to go down the hole do I have to go down the hole this is some Silent Hill type shit alright let's go Whee! I'm coming after you poppy do we need those like long fall boots you know those portal long fall boots oh what is this tractor beams and shit oh no it was a slide <laughs> I know I thought it was like a tractor beam. There's nothing else here. Oh, nice. Can I go there? I'd be terrified if something grabbed me. Alright. Power puzzles. Oh, one, two, okay. Okay, okay. Wait, what? Wait, what is... <laughs> Hello? Sir? Oh, interesting. Okay, I oh, see how it is. No, because then that cuts it. So what if we... Okay, that's... Boom, okay. Just have to get around it. Okay, I don't want to admit that that took longer. That was some NASA shit. That took way longer than I thought it would. A new no. Wait, did you take my hand? Wait. I'm the good. Game station is still working. It will be just like old times. And if you win all three games, I'll give you the train code. <gasps> Mommy loves that idea, Poppy. Oh, you're going Wait, to did we get so played by Poppy? Fun. Head to musical memory, and Mommy will get things started. Obey the rules, or I'll tear you apart. And eat your insides while you're still 
alive. <laughs> okay, mommy. So, uh... No hands, or... Okay. I guess we're back to one hand. That's cool. That's cool. Who are you? Hey, who are you? I wonder if... Oh, that's you. Hey, you're so long. So that's Mommy. That's Poppy. Huggy Wuggy. I don't know who that is. I wonder if the dinosaur... I don't, I don't know if the dinosaur would be as scary, though. Oh, oh wow. Are we playing some b-ball? Good instructions, good instructions. I know how to play, I know how to play. What is that? Playtime, she always smiles, or always smiling. Happiness. I swear I hear footsteps around me. She said musical memory. Wait, is this going to be something if I get it wrong, I die? <laughs> it will be. I know it will be. Yeah, give me a second. Preparing for departure in three, two, one. Do, do, do. Okay. We pull all of them. I guess one I'm at a time. Stella, and we've got three super duper fun games to play. These little tests show us just how crazy strong and smart you are. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs, and we'll start by playing musical memory. See you in a bit. Yeah, I'm uh, not too bright. <laughs> this is me, Simon says. Am I gonna have to write this down? Oh, damn, it's a whole new thing. I thought it was going to be like a little, uh, damn it. Oh, right. I don't have another hand. I know when your birthday is. Oh, yeah. 28. That's wrong, <laughs> actually. Not even close, actually. So you're wrong, actually. I don't think this is part of the game anymore. <laughs> oh, we love shredders. Mystics. Oh, there's another. Uh, looks like there's a power door. Do not enter. Looks like we need a little cassette tape. This looks like. All right. Let me just look around here first before we do anything. Okay, we'll look. We'll look around after this, I guess. Maybe when there's more light. Oh, it's right here. Okay, we'll probably do this and then we'll watch the tape. Or maybe we'll watch it first. I don't know. Bubbles. We gotta connect that. Do we gotta... Aha! Nice. Are we looping it up or what are we doing here? Oh, are we making, I think we're making a new hand probably. That makes sense. That would make sense if we're making a new hand. Oh. No paint in machine. Right. I know what to do here. No paint. How do we get paint from the machine? How do we, there's something in the back there. I mean, I guess we could watch the tape in the meantime, no? Ah. What 
electric charge lasts for 10 seconds. Oh, okay. Wait, can we actually get crushed by doors? I'll try to use it responsibly, man. What's the time? Play time. Fire. All right. Uh, we got. We need some paint. I guess that opened actually. So. I wonder if it's that box we saw moving on the conveyor up here. Um, yes, it is. Uh, paint inserted. Oh, wait, what is that? Hey, yo, green hand. Oh, I wonder if that's like little collectibles. It actually might be. Boom. Paint. Are they one use, though? Why are they making five of them? I would like my green hand, sir. Beautiful. So now we could just do that. So I want to see, once it runs out, does it... I want to see what happens if it runs out. Okay, so we do keep the hand. It's not like... Okay. What does this say? Is not liable for injuries, ain't no way. <laughs> okay, cool. Pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. Let's see what's here first. Is it just a door? It is just a door. All right. Honestly, I thought it was going to be like a memory game. Think green, reduce, reuse, recycle. You hear that, folks? Oh, we're on the other side. Let's go. Oh, wait. You know what? I think we're not even at the game yet. <laughs> Actually. Oh, no. It is going to be... <coughs> Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. Not great, honestly. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. I'm dead? The test will become more difficult as it continues. In a shed. With longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck. How many patterns are we talking, though? God. I'm not good. I, I used to be good at these. I haven't done them in a while. Oh. Seen the place Wait, why are you lowering already? Mommy can only oh, get away from here. Bro. Bro, chill. <laughs> That's the dinner bell. Good luck. Wait, is he also alive or is he just like. Green. We got it. Okay. Green, yellow. Green. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Red. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Red. Round 
two. That was round one? Ain't no way, dude. Blue. Color. Round three. That was already hard. Yellow. Yellow orange. Yellow orange. Yellow orange violet. Yellow orange violet. Yellow orange violet red. Yellow orange violet red. Yellow orange violet red. Yellow. Yeah. Oh no! Yellow orange violet red. Yellow. Yellow. Orange, violet, red, yellow. Yellow, orange, violet, red, yellow, white. Yellow, orange, violet, red, yellow, white. Round four. No way, dude! Ain't no way. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank, thank you, Mommy. Damn, a third. Mommy was hoping the game could last a little longer. It's okay, though. Mommy knows other ways to play with you. I don't know how I should take that, but... Okay. Hey, that wasn't that bad. I'm shocked that... Too soon. Not yet, sir. I must explore. Okay, there's really nothing. <laughs> I just have to make sure. Just in case. Just in case. I don't want to miss any of the tapes. Oh. Can't sprint crouch in the vents. I'm shot. Honestly, that was not bad. Only one misclick. I think that was pretty solid, if I do say so myself. Uh, I don't know what that sound is, but um, here's hoping that's not behind me. Play care? Okay. Damage. <laughs> About to break it. Rejected items. Owen the oven. Multiple cases of children receiving third degree burns. Where you at, Owen? Sir poops a lot. Fire. Is this is like the rejected toy uh, area. Some short. There's got to be like a tape here somewhere. Retail shipment. Reason for rejecting entire batch of toys is miscolored due to Patty Hall sabotaging a painting machine. Saboteurs has since been dealt with. Barrel o huggies. Children tried to eat from the barrel thinking it was candy. Yeah, that'll do it. 
Oh. What the heck? Surprise hair. Not enough appeal to design or name. Make it a chicken? <laughs> so true, so true. This got just gonna be a tape here for sure. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh my goodness. You're joking. drop him somewhere, you know? Ah, yes. I am, uh, struggling on these puzzles, man. The puzzles are, like, simple yet, like, pretty complex, you know? Pyrrha can do it. Looking like. What does it do? Don't work. Don't work. Is that? Why is that blocked? Hello? Sir, do you have a moment? Um, uh huh. Then we go boom, stand up, boom, boom, bang. Easy, dude. Easy, broski. Wait, is it? Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I powered it. Yeah. Boom! Jump shot. Boom! Jump shot. Boom! Oh, dude, I'm not getting. I'm not getting. I've gotten scared by steam long enough. That's that's a, that's always a good jump scare though, to be honest. So much blood everywhere, man. Sorry. So dramatic. There's a lot of spider. Oh, you know what? I wonder spider webs, cause like, mommy long legs, like a spider. That's why there's webs. Or it's or it's just you know old. <laughs> no, I I don't really know, but. All right. You did fantastic. Thank you. Who gave you permission to be this smart? <laughs> Mommy is That's my mom super tells proud me. of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Waggo Wuggy. Head downstairs and have fun. I uh I don't know how. Why are these doors like bunkers, man? I have a good feeling about this one. <laughs> I'll be real. Ooh, storage. Hey, yo. This. What is this? I want to see what this is now. It was nothing. <laughs> All right, whack a. <laughs> this will be fine. It'll be all Welcome right. Welcome to Wacko Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. I got that. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. Mm -hmm. If one comes out, Hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. Where's mommy? Mommy, are you gonna come and uh, explain why I'll probably die from the this? The toys in this ah, game go. used to have strings attached to them so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Ah, there you go. Just the word. Hmm. Have fun. Okay, what if we stand here? No, we'll stand in the middle. Do they make noise at all? Or
<laughs> Wait. Oh, I didn't know there was one up there. There's a lot of them. Oh my god. Dude, that got so intense. Hooray! Mommy is so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy. Here. Mommy has another hint for you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Pass me. Sorry, where's your hand? Sorry. Oh, here you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Only one game left to play. Oh. Sad. So sad. I was hoping you'd stay here forever. Yeah, you think so? No. It's never too late to change your mind. <laughs> I'm good. I'm tr I'm tr I'm just trying to escape. Personally, I don't think there's any uh, tapes in the sand, eh? Oh no, that was just the instruction video. I'm a donk. Are these the previous dead people? Jump shot. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. All right. All right. All right. All right. Ain't no way you're gonna make me platform. Ain't no way you're gonna make me platform. Can I jump on the railing? Ayo. <laughs> Wait, this is working. Wait, was I not supposed to do that? Is there anything over here? Love to see it. Press the button to feed me candy. Nom nom nom. Feed me more. Wow, you must be really hungry. Um, I got you. Um, nom, nom, nom. All right. More, more candy. Oh wow. Okay. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> okay, no more candy. My tummy's full. Um, nom, nom. I said no more. Um, nom, nom. Stop. Um, nom, nom. <laughs> Click the button to feed me candy. Uh. We cool, we cool, we cool. We good, we good, we good, we good. <laughs> we vibing, we vibing. Press the button to feed me candy. Do I go down there? Down here? Where are you? Wait, why are you back? Why are you back, bro? Nah, fam. Oh, you're the pink one. D 
you want to give me a hug? Is it going to open? Oh! Wait, are you going to turn around? <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought she was... I, th I thought... Okay. It's down here before anything happens. slide. Dude, Huggy Wuggy scares me, man. I don't know, I don't know if the pink one's also called Huggy Wuggy, but... Oh, shit. You know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to break that barrier for sure. scheme is giving back rooms vibes and for some reason the matrix ah shit. I got distracted by the tape they knew what they were doing They knew what they were doing. Okay, that's fine. That's actually okay. Oh, you know what? I wonder... Oh, no, we can't have both hands. Never mind. Uh, let's watch the tape then, shall we? We missed the second one, but I don't know. Is that Jacksepticeye? Mind if I film this? Oh, not at all, sir. That's what I like <laughs> to hear. So, Marcus... What happened? You see, I was heading home for the day when my apars realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. So I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mop handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what'd you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mop handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So I, I took a peek beneath the gate, and some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sure it wasn't a person? It's no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I happen to bloody know what it was, but it wasn't human. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will you? Actually, never mind. Get out of my sight. You know what the the guy asking the questions like uh, he's given like uh, what's that guy's name? I forgot his name. Wait, do I gotta go from the beginning? Wait, hold up, because I missed that one thing. He's given like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The guy in Portal. I don't know why I did that to be honest. Okay, I think I understand. Wait, 
to boom, 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 boom. There we go. You know, I'm happy that sound wasn't a ridiculously loud sound. Gotta make sure that person's not behind us. Alright, guess we drop it in. I got a wuggy. Okay, I was scared. I thought, uh,. That looked like the same corridor in the first one that something came out of. All right, there you go, third game. Let's go. Jeez, have you played these before? You're so good. Thank you. Seems like you're ready for statues. the final game. Statues. Follow mommy down the stairs one last time. I. I hope you had a fun day at the game station. I did, yeah. See you next time. Thank you. But personally, though, me, I'm not. Row, row. Oh, sorry. Do we gotta? Sorry. Is that always there? Does it stay? You staying? You staying? Good staying. <laughs> we good. We good. We good. Hot diggity damn. Anything behind here? Wow. A nice open door. Is there anything behind here? Any secrets that I should be aware of? Oh. What moved? Oh, I haven't been looking for the gold statues. Can I make that? Hold up. I will make this. I will make this. Looks like a little printer huh. ah damn I thought I could do it can I go in here I don't think so not me all the I, <laughs> I always like try and break the game I guess <coughs> do you want to play with PJ dude is that Scooby Doo Caterpillar or Bug I'm crawling on all 400 <laughs> mm, I'm hungry for some delicious bones. Dude, Do you have some bones for PJ? Wait, I said same, but I think I'd take it back. Interesting. Very interesting. What are we powering here? Okay, I think I gotta do it quick. A little one-two switch. Let me just see if that stays powered. No, first of all, first and foremost. Uh, one. Wait, can I cheese this? <laughs> Wait, was I supposed to do it like that? Dude, I'm all about that cheese. I'm all about that queso. Wait. Wait, what is that? Is that this dude? A little bones muncher? Where did I come from, by the way? What did that open? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I don't like This is a maze. This looks like a maze. Sir? Let's see what it is. Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. 
the lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck. Oh, he's right here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Wait, when did he get there? I was not paying it. I don't know. It was always so What happens if they I do move, left though? Mom to die alone. Mom didn't deserve that. But you, you worked here. So if anyone deserves to die alone, it's you. Okay. this sir ain't no way dude bro's climbing he's cheating bro's cheating man medium what the hell's medium mean Took my breath away, man. Oh, you know what? I was probably moving when the lights went out. Bro. Dude, he's close. He is so close. She wasn't that close. He sounded very close, though. <laughs> Bro, we parkouring. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, he's so fast. Let's get him up. Actually, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're good. We're good. Fudge, 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 fudge. Bro, there ain't no way. They're they're cheating with these lights right now. I don't know if this is the right way though. Bro's getting close, man. Wait, where am I going though? Um, oh shoot. Am I still waiting? No, I don't need me no code. No, I'm good, actually. Wait, what happened to Poppy, though? I still don't know if she's evil. She probably is. I think I think she, she, she betrayed us. No. Leave me alone. 
don't like that there's multiple. I haven't been looking for stuff. I don't know if I'm missing anything. I'm kind of pooping myself right now. This is the thing. We're going to do some... Oh, no. We're going to click this. She's going to be like, there you are. Uh, transfer request. Mommy Long has unique ability to stretch her arms for several hundred feet. This includes your fingers, arms, hair, neck, waist, legs, very hostile towards the staff, but very motherly and acts warmly towards the other experiments. You're very protective of them. Problem. The hostility is become is quickly becoming problematic, but perhaps there's a solution to put her in her place. Mommy Long would be perfect for facilitating everything with children in the game station. She has the warmth that a mother should, and any rowdy child can learn to listen to their mother. It makes sense that her seeing these children daily would improve her behavior and is very unlikely she will act out uh in front of children and have her transfer to high security maintenance immediately conditioning can begin Ooh. water treatment oh i see where am i going by the way Hey, that kind of works, I think. I guess we'll find out if it works or not. I'm, I'm gonna say yes. I'm, 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 I'm gonna say yes. I almost ran right into the water. Meow, 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 but... So true. To be or not to be, that is the question. So true. You and I were meant to be. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming we gotta grab those. Does that do? What does this do? Oh, interesting. Okay. So it looks like we gotta move that. That. I guess now we can go up. Boom. And then boom. And then... Wait, where are they going after that? I literally can't see. To me? Oh, wait, no. And boom. Ah, shoot. Okay, wait, no. Ah, can I just grab as many as I want? <laughs> wait, I can just grab all of them? Let's go. Are they all in my inventory? <laughs> I'm just gonna grab. Wait, can I grab? I, do I crash the game if I have too much inventory? Then we gotta place it there, I guess, because we're not going back. Okay, I honestly thought. Okay, I thought I could have made the jump. I didn't know. I was so confident, too. Easy as that. In before this glitches, like the first episode. Okay, no, it didn't. <laughs> if this is like the other one, I'm assuming there will maybe be a chase sequence here. Sorry. Pardon? Is that not the right toy? weird I, I don't know why I didn't trigger is there a cassette no I don't think I think we pass all the cassettes honestly what's here oh wait what's wait what what's here what's 
What's the right way? Oh, there is a cassette. Or maybe both ways. Oh, this looks like a big puzzle. Same. Uh, okay. And then we gotta go here. Through. Got some nice background music as well. That's pretty rad. Can't push that. Um, I'm assuming the sound won't be that hard to find. Oh, that's stuck together. Okay. So we got. Is that a power or is that just a light? Where's, the, where's that green light coming? From? Whatever. Anyways. To know that I don't actually die. Wait, I'm actually stuck in here. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. I didn't. <laughs> Dude, leave it to me to die to fall damage. We back at it again. All right, here we go. All right, first try, first try. Uh, okay. I can't touch that. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, we gotta use normal hand on this one? What do we got here? Huh? Aha. Give me that. So now... Now do. Mm -hmm. Oh, we could power the other one, and maybe that'll open the door. Hold up. Oh shoot. Oh, that doesn't work. Bot doesn't work. Oh, we can put the cassette there, though. The following is a pre recorded announcement to address the many complaints regarding an alleged very, very big spider crawling around in the facility. The Playtime Corporation wants me to remind you all that spiders that big do not exist, and that if they did, quote, we would already be dead anyways. End quote. Who's Regardless, quote? you can all rest assured that? the company is sending some specialists down here to have a look around and relieve the constant whining. Complaining seems to be everyone's primary contribution to this company. It's just a spider. You are all safe. Please, please carry on with your jobs. I don't think so. All right, we got to figure out an open dish puppy right here. All right, so we gotta do this quick here. Oh, shoot. Oh, it does open. Bro, easy. I'm all about the speed runs. What does that do though? We heading back. Oh. Oh. Rut row. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I'm sure mommy won't be here, right? <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> I asked you to play fair, and you cheated. I did it. We're going to play one last. Game. It's called hide and seek. 
Oh wait. Okay. We're gonna speed around this bitch. Do I actually gotta hide though? I don't actually gotta hide. Right? <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I hear me some footsteps. Uh any inconspicuous holes? Oh, that looks like a hole. That we can enter. That's the one we came from. Indeed a different hole. Different hole, we love it. right now. No! Ain't no way I just missed that gold thing. I'm actually quite upset. You know, I didn't think that would work. All right, what do we got here? Uh, this is Eddie responding once again on behalf of the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. Yes, it must be in complete secrecy. This project should only be known by those with the authority of the Warren back. Uh, and those with the authority here at Playtime. As promised, you will be compensated very well for your secrecy. Upwards of $100,000, keeping in mind that this is a ballpark figure. We're willing to provide the proper equipment needed for excavation. However, the more independently you are able to work, the more compensation I can offer. Uh, we'd still like to see the lab completed in 12 months' time, but what's most important is that it's done right. Let me know if the terms work for you. I'm happy to negotiate until we find something that both parties can be happy with. Take care, Eddie M. N. Ritterman. Corporate scum, eh? I'm really upset I missed that statue. Actually, but anyways. I'm just waiting for her to pop out. I know she will. Staff only? That's me. Is that why? What does this do? Oh. A little puzzle. Oh, okay. So it looks like... I'm assuming it's colors. So it would be one... So red... Red, blue, green... Yellow? like a puzzle master or something, eh? Oh, no. Oh, shit. What do you want me to do here? Bro, leave me alone. Wait, what was I supposed to do? Wait, what? Wait.
Is it because I actually hid? Was I just teased? Ensure machinery is clear, debris, white machine surfaces, lubricant, dirt, check for. Please replace. Well, that's not good, is it? I don't know what that was, but. Ah, yes. Ah, gear mold, let's go. I hear beepity beeps up there. Spot. Okay, okay. Now. Looks like I gotta push something in there. I mean. Yeah, we'll see some. Let me see some. Ah, yes. A gear. Boom. Easy. Boom. Whoops. Wait. Am I not put? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, bro. No, get away from me. Oh, shoot. Do I actually gotta hide? Wait, hold up. This is probably bad. Don't turn it on. Dude, imagine she turned it on. So I guess the first time she just didn't see me or something, so she just ran away. No. Oh god. Leave me alone. Uh, I actually tried jumping. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, here. There was a hole. Dude, these hands are so strong right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, the swinging always gets me. It really does. Okay, we got this. We got this. this is the run. I don't know that barrel was going to stop me. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Boom. Quick turn. Let's go. You ain't going to get me. Boom. Let's go. Left. Boom. Okay, okay, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, see that little pump fake? Ooh, that feels like they're so close, though. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, my God. Executed perfectly. Let's get the hell out of here. I feel like we're not getting followed, but we are. Uh oh. 
Uh, hurry, 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 dude. Oh, 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 do we get her? Oh, let's go. Eat shit, mommy. Wait, that's... Wait, that's kind of... That's low-key kind of brutal? What is that? What is that? What in God's green earth was that? Dude, that was tense. Also, that was kind of brutal. <laughs> I mean, I, I shouldn't be laughing, but <laughs> that was kind of brutal. That, that part gave me the heebie-jeebies. More than the chase scene, I think. They do really good chase scenes, though. What we got here? Nothing. Nothing. We're gonna escape, right? Oh, shit. There's another tape here somewhere. Should we look for it? Might just cut to one. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Let the render my feet. It was hard to see, though. Okay. Log code 08502. In relation. Experiment 1006. That's the hand we saw. The prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door, despite the other specialist still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. Damn. So, shit. <laughs> well, we don't know if Huggy Wuggy's dead, though. Right? Because, like, he fell, yeah, into an abyss, but. Did it? Oh, I thought that was like an invisible thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing too much Helldivers. I thought that was like a, you know, the silhouette of like a stalker, but maybe it was like the prototype. Anyways, forget what I said. Oh, I didn't even do that on purpose. Did you kill her? Yes. Good. I'll board the train. We need to leave. Okay. I got some letters, though, that I would like to read. All right, start by reporting to the control station. Always keep a minimum distance 20 yards away from mommy long legs. The train will arrive with the children at 8 a.m. All children will be gathered inside the game station all at once. The order of the game should be musical memory, whack a wuggy, then statues. A series of bridges and doors from the control station should guide you to each game. Mommy long legs consists in escorting the children to each game. Only one child should ever play a game at a time. Children who are not playing the game will wait in the game station. There is player on equipment to keep them entertained. Oh, whoops. 
uh, record your child's performance as it is relevant to each game, musical memory, composure, memory, pattern recognition, wacka wacky hand-eye coordination, reaction time, agility, strength, speed. Once children left for the day, return to control, so you can give all reports to Miss Stella Graber to sort through. All right. Dr. Matthew Wason, Windows in Game Station. I don't know if you ever spent weeks on end in a windowless, artificially lit room, but let me tell you something. It's far from pleasant. The kids are getting rowdy, too. You can just see it on their faces. I know there's not really a way to get natural light down here, but there's other ways, right? I'm thinking about oh, fake windows all around. Do that, and bam! There's some actual life down here. Saw it on TV last week. This underground place had fake windows, big lights behind glass. It makes the whole place feel sunlit. It's nice. You want everyone in the right headspace for these games, don't you? Do the right thing. Add windows. Four, three, one, two. If we gotta do both at the same time. Do we, like, gotta go down, or... Oh, whoops. God, you know, I'm, just, I'm such a... Donkey sometimes. Whee! Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was facing the wrong way. Any statues? I missed that one statue. I'll never forget it. I already forgot the code. 4312. That's interesting. I kind of like that prototype lore. For that. Maybe there are the items here. No invisible wall. I lied. Alright. Four, three, one, two. Was it not four, three, one, two? Huh? All right, I figured it out. Four, three, one, two. Okay, so the problem that I was doing is I didn't know I could click these top buttons. So I just spent maybe 10 minutes not realizing, I kept clicking the colors and being like, maybe I gotta time it before. Um, like time it like to the color before and then click the colors as whatever. I didn't realize I could click the actual buttons with the pictures on them. Uh, my bad. But we got it. We gonna pick up speed or something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. Maybe we're gonna get derailed. This isn't the actual exit. We're I was so scared she put me back in that case. But you saved me. You are perfect. Too perfect to lose. I'm sorry. I can't let you leave. I've never met anyone like you. <laughs> no. Do you know how long I've been stuck in that case? Well. much time to think and reflect. Time to figure out exactly what I would do when free. We'll set things right. Terrible things have happened. But I know that whatever I need you to do, you're capable. We will. What is... Wait, what? Dude, she betrayed us again! Well, maybe we're, like, actually saving the facility. But still, like... Dude, if we wouldn't have released her, we probably could have escaped right now. But then again, would we have gotten the train code? I don't know. It's going pretty fast. Are there any brakes on this thing? Or... Um, I don't... I don't think we're stopping. Um... 
Uh oh. <laughs> What's happening here, dude? I got it. Bro, I'm trying to stop the train. Bro, I'm trying. Okay. I had a feeling that that handle would come in handy. Dude, I'm going pretty fast. I don't. Th I don't. Th yeah, you know. <laughs> I had a feeling that would happen. It's just going to end on a train crash. Oh, wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. pretty good i still think episode one is is the best one so far that was good too i really enjoyed that one as well um but yeah i really I, I actually really enjoy it this game's actually really good i'm actually having a lot of fun playing this game uh i do have episode three as well so we're probably gonna play this one that one next when i have time but uh I'd read that a solid eight yams out of ten. Seven and a half, eight yams out of ten. A lot of ten sections. I still don't think the chase sequence was as spooky as the first one, but still pretty solid overall. The puzzles were a little more advanced. Some of them took me a little longer just because I couldn't realize the mechanic of it, but once I did, I did. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think there's anything after the credits if there is uh i'll show it if there isn't oh i guess we're here right now let's see together shall we it doesn't look like it all righty well that was poppy's playtime chapter two hope you all enjoyed very very much uh leave a like if you liked it even if you didn't <laughs> just like it Come on. Or not. You know, you're allowed to do whatever you want. But don't forget to comment down below, as I said at the beginning of the video, uh, any horror game suggestions. Uh, I have a few on the list to play, uh, but I'd like to know more. And I know there's a lot on, like, itch.io. I want to try dabble in some Roblox horror as well. I think that'd be fun. But, uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day, night, weekend. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.